<clears throat> so la on Monday, um, we talked about the stuff we still had to do for the rest of the semester, right? Or no? Remind me. It was two days ago. It's, it's gone. Okay. Um, so I, I've put some stuff in the content library since then. Um, had I gotten the chapter six stuff in there? Did I tell you about this on Monday? You think so? Okay. So the, the new stuff then is the exam stuff. Um, so there's a midterm exam tab. So I have the equation sheet that you'll get for the, for the midterm. So if you wanted to look at that in advance, that's there. Um, and then I have, as soon as I find my mouse, um, an exam details tab that just kind of has the rundown of um, some ex information about the exam. So it's 15% covering chapters one through six. Um, your questions are going to be exact test questions um, from the previous tests. That's the in-class version. Um, so you notice in the content library when I put in the keys, I usually put in two of them. Version 5 is the makeup version. So the other ones are the in-class version, whatever that is. Um, we're going to take I have three questions from each test. Um, sometimes those questions might be like, to try to make it, because I'm making all the questions equally weighted at five points. So some of them you might get like two easy test questions into one exam question, you know what I mean? Like if I ask you to like convert something into radians and degrees, you might get two of those as one exam question that might have been two separate test questions. So you have like, three exam questions from every test. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so all the questions are equally weighted. So you'll be allowed to skip two questions on the exam. So you can just pick two that you don't want to do that you can just skip. Um, although the requirement is that they cannot be from the same chapter because I don't want you to like omit all of like chapter six or something. Um, and then uh, lastly, you're gonna, I'm going to allow you one um, sheet of 7.5 by 11. That's the standard size sheet of paper um, to use as notes. So you can, um, those notes have to be handwritten and they can only be writing on one side of your paper. And you have to turn that sheet of notes in by 2.45 on December 15th. Obviously, if you turn it in ahead of schedule, that's fine. Um, but that's the last day before exam start. Um, does that sound pretty doable? Reasonable exam format? Paul? So, two questions that you can skip. If you do all of them, will you just select like all the two that you got wrong? No, I'm not going to sort, I'm not going to sift through the, okay. so your entire exam to figure out which are your worst two. Okay. So just Get two of them yeah, okay. I mean you can do all of them and then just be like, okay, I feel the worst about these two, and just put X's through them. Like that's fine. Oh, okay. Got you know, like, but I'm not going to grade all the questions and go back and try. You know, like okay. you're talking about adding like an hour extra into the grading okay. when it's already kind of a time crunch to get it done. Okay. Um, which is mostly my motivation for saying that. And then to make sure it's an 80 minute test, I don't really think that, you know, like 18 problems in 80 minutes is a is a stretch right you know like that's part of the motivation for saying you can skip two is to like shorten it up a little bit um uh, it, it allows you to skip the things you feel the worst about right like if it's a if it's a cumulative semester long evaluation some of that needs to be like I want it to be in some ways like show me what you know the best okay Right, like what are the stuff you're most confident? In? Show me how you can do. Show me that you can do that. And like some of those things, you're less confident, and you don't have to. You know, it's an entire semester. You don't. You're not going to. Yeah, have it all perfect the first time. Now, some of you that have kind of done this before, maybe you'll have it all perfect the first time, <laughs> the second time. But um, 
Does that, that all feel reasonable as far as a math exam format goes? I tried to come up with something that would be realistic and not like overwhelming and hopefully sounds reasonably doable. I hope the notes help. Um, and again, like you have the equation sheet also, the equation sheets in advance also. So like you can probably skip most of that kind of information on your note sheet. You can just have example problems or whatever. Um, Tyler? What can you put on the note sheet? Uh, something on the back of it? Okay. Printing from a computer? You can handwrite whatever. Yeah, you can handwrite whatever notes you want to put on there. You know, whether they're example problems or notes to yourself or reminders or, you know, like, oh, bay, and I feel bad about vectors. Like, I'm going to do this example vector problem and put that on there so that if I run into one of those, I'll know what to do. You know, just like whatever, whatever you think is going to be helpful. Um, being cumulative, again, like entire semester, that's rough, right, for something as specific as math. The, the sheet of note or the note sheet is just designed to help you like if you run into something you're not sure about kind of get started you know so like you can take the things you feel the weakest about and include some examples you know What's two by the yeah the seven and a half by eleven is a standard sheet of paper okay. I don't want somebody bringing in like a piece of poster or something being like this is my sheet of paper <laughs> yeah. you know not that I think anybody would do that but like We'll just we'll be specific and cover our bases, right? Okay. Somebody would have tried. Evan's like, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, the other thing um, that I wanted to mention. So in the syllabus, at the end of the semester, I talk about dropping some homework assignments and t quiz grades, and then doing the either giving you the option of either doubling a high test score or doing a chapter test retake. So I put in all the drops yesterday afternoon. You might have noticed your grade change for no discernible reason. That would have been the would have been what happened. Um, so the computer does the drops automatically, like it locates the lowest scores and just drops them. You don't see anything on your end other than your overall grade probably changed a little bit. Um, so that's that stuff is in. Um, as far as the double high test or retake option, on the uh, eight morning of the eighth, you'll get a Google form in your email um, that'll basically, you fill it out and it's gonna tell me whether you want to do the double or to do a retake. Um, and if you are doing a retake, which chapter or whatever. Um, so that's, I have that set, um, and that really needs to be, you need to fill that out really by the end of school on the 9th or whatever, so that on the 12th, if people are doing their retake, that they have the stuff ready <laughs> for you in the room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So for the retake, you can get up to 85? Correct, yeah. The high score is capped at an 85 on a retake. Yeah. Um, for the most part, like, if you're not sure, you can just run your numbers and, you know, like you do your test average with the doubled, you know, out of, well, like you'd have five tests right now, but after you have the test five grade in, you could do it, you know, with six tests because the double just becomes a new test score. And then you can compare like, okay, base case scenario, I drop, remove the lowest one and replace it with an 85 and take the average out of five and see what the difference in the test average is there. Um, for most of us, it's probably not a big difference, in which case I would say take the double because it's free, you don't have to do anything for it. Um, really, unless you're like somebody that's got like A's and B's and then got like a, you know, a 42, you know, that's the kind of person that the retake's gonna be more valuable for. But if you have like, if your low is like, 70s or high 60s or something like it's probably going to be not a lot of difference yes so the doubling the highest test score so like if i had 95 on my highest 
we've got another 95. Correct. Okay. Yep. So, so that you can see in my Notre Dame, I've already made the doubled high test score assignment place for it. Okay. So that'll go in as, um, you know, another test grade. Yep. And then I'll be like put us up to six tests. Yeah, so you'd have six test grades if you took the double. You'd have five if okay. you did the retake. And you just average them and then see Yeah. So usually when I do the, if the person has the retake, I put it in the double category and then excuse out the low one. So you can still see the number. Okay. I see. Um, so there's still, you know, there's not like a blank spot in the grade book or whatever. Right. Um, so yeah, I think that. I think that covered the rest of the details that I wasn't sure about Monday morning when I got here and was still trying to figure out how I wanted to end that semester out. Um, let's just take the time today to work on stuff. You can ask individual questions as they come up. On Friday, we'll do um, take some individual questions, talk about the Chapter 5 test format. Um, or take some, I'm sorry, take some big group questions. Um, talk about the chapter five test format probably starts chapter six. Because um, we're still gonna squeeze that in between now and the, the final exam. Although there's no work that you guys are gonna have to do from chapter six, it's an exam only. It's the only thing you're gonna do with chapter six is stuff on the exam. But I put in all the chapter six stuff if you want practice. It's all in the content library and stuff. Okay, everybody feel good? Have a good picture of what we still need to do for the end of the semester. Hopefully feel okay about the assessment format. Again, tried very hard to come up with something that's a good cumulative measurement that still gives you guys um, some flexibility and makes it a little bit easier than just like, yep, just gotta know it all. <laughs> what do I need to study all of it, you know, like, so, okay.